Hi guys, David here. Today we're going to make a simple rustic shelf. All you're going to need is a saw, a hammer, some nails and a tape measure. Oh, and a square. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing I did before building this cabinet was to make a sketch and to put on it some rough measurements so I know where we're going. And once I'd got all my measurements, I knew how long the pieces were. I found some old scrap material that was 14 wide. So I went on 14. I decided how tall the cabinet so I could fit two rolls of toilet paper, a couple of towels and room for the towel rail. And I made the top a little bit bigger so it overlaps on the edges, which gives it a nicer look. And here I decided to add a stick to hang the towel on. So once I got my measurements, I could make a cutting list. This is my cutting list. And here I've written what the thing is I need, how many of them, how long, how wide and how thick. So now I've got everything written down. I went to my scrap wood pile and pulled out enough pieces of wood to cut these out of. Okay, so now I cut all the pieces to length. You can do it with a hand saw, you can do it with a chop saw. I used my table saw but it's not a lot of cuts. You can do it with whatever equipment you've got. So now I'm just gonna clean up all the boards with a wire brush. I like to use a wire brush. It cleans it up nicely without removing this old effect from the weather. It opens up the grain and keeps it looking rustic and old. That's why I use a wire brush. Okay. So now I cleaned out all the pieces. Uh, I had a bit of a split in one of these boards. And it was a bit cracked down here. So I simply popped a nail in the side. It's only a shelf for towels and toilet paper, so it's plenty strong enough. The next thing I need to do is to mark out, according to my plan, the height of the first shelf, the second shelf, and where the, um, where the towel rail is going to go. Where the towel rail is going to go, I also need to drill some holes to hold it in place. So I've cut this stick for the towel rail a little bit longer than the shelves. So it's going to go two centimeters inside of the side and two centimeters inside of the side. So now I'm just going to drill these two holes, not all the way through, just two centimeters in. And to know I only went in two centimeters, I'm going to mark on the drill with a bit of tape. And drill to the tape. Safety first. So now, these are my two shelves and this is the side. I've marked the position of the shelves on the side and now I'm going to simply line it up on the marks and drive a couple of nails through. Check them on the line, make sure any, nothing moved. Somebody asked me in a recent video, how do they stop the nail bending when they hit it? So a common mistake I see is people hit the nail like this and it tends to bend. So pick up your elbow and hit the nail squarely on the head and it will go straight. Okay, so I've nailed these two shelves to this side, and now I need to nail the other side on top. And I use these jigs to hold the shelves, and a pair of clips like this 
If you want to know how to make this jig, there should be a video up here somewhere. So you click on that and there's a video on how to make these. If not, just go to my channel and you'll find it. Okay, so now I'm going to pop in the towel rail. So now I'm going to put this side on, locate the towel rail, make sure I'm on my mark before I drive in any more nails. Now I need to add in these braces at the back. Like this. And as you see, a gap's opened up here. There was a bit of a, a twist in this board. So I'm gonna knock the nails in a little bit crooked, which will stop them just popping back out and hopefully pull the board straight. Okay, so I've finished putting in the braces. Now I need to put on the top. But because it's a bit tall, I can't really see what I'm doing like this. So I'm gonna put it down on the floor and knock it on the floor. I'll just check that it's about even. I left two and a half centimeters, about an inch. Poking out, you can leave more or less, whatever you like. go. I'm going to drill a couple of holes back here to hang it on the wall with and that's about it. As you see we hung it on the wall in the bathroom and loaded it up with all of our bathroom accessories like some nice clean rags, uh, lovely toothbrushes that you might need, some glue and dishes soap and of course wire wool that we all like to use on the rough skin and a nice clean hand towel. And uh, I think it looks fantastic. Just what most people would like to have in their bathroom. So I hope you like it. Uh, have a go. And if you like the video, please let us know in the comments below, share it with a friend, subscribe, and don't forget, please to ring that little bell. That'd be really great because you're gonna get notified every time I put up a new video. So all the best guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.